Which again, the name implies, very snowy. All right, Winter's Gate. Spawning down the bottom right-hand side of the map. It's true. And spawning in the top left, time. True and time. I feel like this may be a difficult cast. It's going to make it rough, yeah. It's just going to be accidental puns and internal, intentional puns all over the place. I feel like you just got to embrace it. And apparently true. Wants to go for an early pool again. Which... Are we surprised? No, we are not. No, we are not. Now, uh... I mean... Sorry, go on. Well, just at this point, if you're a professional player, you understand who True is and what he does. <laughs> right. And you're does ready for time, it? time, though. Because I right. didn't and that's seem what particularly I'm wondering. ready for parting. I just don't know. Time's been around the block a few times. And is he easy. knows. It is pretty what? darn good. Yeah. I just think at this point you anticipate the extra zerglings, you anticipate the early your reaper at home, you prepare for banelings, and it just... And he SCV scouts. This makes me happy. Yeah, We've me too. so I'm... many more Terrans go for SCV scouts lately. Yeah, it helps keep them alive. And yeah, just gonna keep the reaper at home, because not doing anything over here, that's for sure. And you want to keep that command center under construction. So the lings are heading the long way across, which, like, I don't know what that's all about. Time knows that you have six lings because you use them to kill the SCV. Yeah, so I think you probably just hide them for a bit is true, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess he's just looking for proxies and stuff while he comes over because he can't do much until speed's done anyway. Very true. Okay, hear me out. Wait. What if he waits till speed? Runs on in? And then, uh, makes it in through this depot. That could be huge. The Reaper's across the map. Could be. The depot's gotta stay up, mm, though. They do. Although we've seen professionals have that down sometimes and really bad. They do. So, speedlings are here. Command center is complete. Mm, nothing for him, though. No gimmies. In comes no. time with his Reaper. Doesn't go for a drone, though. There's actually no queen at the natural, so very well could get one of these. Good save by True on that drone. Going to have to save another. Queen does that job. All time wants that drone. Doesn't get it though. Oh, that Reaper is dead. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah, so at this point, True invested a whole ton in speedlings. Go the Reaper, and that's literally it. Hmm. Triple Queen production from True. Do we see a Nidus or something? Could we see that? What if he just keeps making queens? Uh, I'm just trying to remember the last time True made a Nidus. But remember, DRG versus Alive was it? Or what Zerg was it? That Nidus just with Mask Ling Queen. Oh yeah, that wasn't True. Um, was, or was that God. yesterday? Yeah, that was no, that was two days ago. That was me. Okay, in the qualifier. Lozira, Lozira totally oh, did. Oh yeah, he did it versus alive, and we were like, whoa. Yeah, and it was awesome, and it worked. Oh, it was good. Although we're seeing true, kind of probably going for a quick uh, carapace upgrade. That's similar to what DRG did a lot the other day, and he looked good doing it. Hmm. Just saying, I'm not sure that true style is all. Yeah. True's hard to put in a box. He's not hard to put in a box. He's in the Zergling Baneling box. That's true. That's true. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> There's I a mean, box over that's here. That's a very it's good point. Like, Ling's Banes. As far as aggression, I feel like we can see him go for anything. 
I look, 22 lings are on the mm. way. I'm ground one or level one ground character. Is he just gonna do the march of the queens across the map? Because he's still making queens. He is. I don't There's know. no lair, but he's still making queens. This is bizarre. Anyway, this attack's coming on in here for time. He's got a tank, some hellions, and some marines, but. Drew's got a lot of links. He's got queens. I don't think he's sweating. He's got so many queens. Time's like, uh, we're not oh, attacking the front, that's good. for sure. Uh, does True react in time? Where are those links into the main base? Hellion's unloading there now. True is not reacting. We're going to be seeing some dead drones in a second here. Yeah, zero so far, though. Four. Oh, okay, four drones. Or it's not a good number, but it could have been a lot worse. It's a little, yeah, it's, I mean, True scouted that, so it's a lot more than he should have got. Okay, now True just has a ton of lings here. But there's a tank and a wall. Yeah, and tank wall And the red line means... moves back. Yes, it does. Very smart. It's like Snake. So True did make a second Evo, but he never started researching anything out of it. Hmm. Oh my god, look at True's saturation. He's missing three drones on this base. Nothing in this gas. Yeah, 69 workers at 6 minutes is kind of insane. Yeah, he just had 30 out of 16 on this base, which was a bit overkill for a second. Now it's slightly less overkill. Still making drones. Alright, let's see. I mean, he's going to have a good economy to make a ton of lings. No spire or anything just yet, so these medivacs, I mean, uh, it's a valid strategy for time to try and get on in here. A lot of marines unloading. The lings are on the other side of the map right now. Mm. They can get home soon enough, though, if they need to, and they do, because here comes time. And this is where I'm kind of worried for true. Time's just so, so quick. Yeah, and then the links show up, and then you kill a couple of them and pick up and get out. Yeah, I feel like this is the first... Uh, first oh, hang on. Many. Wow. Yeah, time's really good. Yeah. Oh, is that Medivac? He Getting underestimated home. those links. He, he thought did. he could do better than that, yeah, but plus one over was done. Yep. And that makes a huge difference against those Marines. Yeah, that was good stuff from true. Time took too much damage there, but he'll be all right. Three base into four base right now. True's fourth is on the way. Infestation pit coming up. Centrifugal hooks on the way as well for True, which is not any much of a surprise. No one. I mean, supply-wise, it's okay for True. He's got a ton of lings on the way. Baneling speed on the way. It would be good to see him start a pretty big round of Banelings here soon, because a serious push could be coming in from his opponent. Hmm. Oh, what if time puts tanks behind the slow zone? That would be sick. That'd be pretty good. I don't... I mean... Hmm. True's got to get a surround on this. He can't just aim move into it. No, he can't. But I don't see much of a surround. So no, no maybe surround. he's just going for it. Has been found. All Drew's right, aim move into it. it. Lings rolling through the slow zone there. More Lings going through the slow zone. But does it really matter? The answer would be no. Oh, Those golly. tanks are gone. Apparently, if you have enough Lings and Banes, you will be fine. I'm so inspired. <laughs> Oh, man. Hmm. Hmm. True going to have an upgrade lead in a second here again, and he's actually going to have a significant one for quite a while because there's no 2-2 two -two starting, or speak of the devil there, 2-2 two -two starts for time right now. True, though, already got the plus two carapace, so we'll have a lead for quite a while. And then another short super lead, I guess. Coming into the future, nothing too significant, but oh, this is significant here. Ling's getting into the natural base of time, and uh, this is a very big counterattack right here. Once these Ling's get on top of these SCVs, it could be very concerning for the Terran. He has raised the wall, and actually no SCVs are dying right now, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a lack of capitalization there by True, but uh, he's busy defending back at home. He's got a good amount of bait, and so once again, going through the slows on the tank, having plenty of time to target fire at least once. Will get pushed back, though. The counterattack gets cleaned up, but all oh, the third base actually not cleaned up, and now the fourth under fire too, so a lot of damage getting done by True. 
Remember how I was like, time should know what he's dealing with? Yeah. I remember no, having that discussion. And then like, he's just getting absolutely crushed here in game one. Oh uh, yeah, it's a sad story, eh? I mean, this is... Yeah. <laughs> I'd like six. If there were tank evacs, this would never happen. That's true. Boy, tank evacs were so broken. Oh, they were so dumb. I think they lasted a single patch. No, they last. They were in the game for quite a while. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure they lasted a single patch and then got removed. Hang on, I'm googling this. No, because they fiddled around with the lift and drop time so much. They Fair. made it so that like they couldn't fire for like a second after unloading, or that they couldn't be picked up for like a second, and then they made it so that when they'd be picked up or whatever. Or they'd uh, go into unsiege mode. Something like that. I don't I'm gonna look into it. GG. I just feel like it didn't last longer than like a couple months. It was, must, it was like a good six months to a year, I feel. A year? There's no way it was a year. All right, hang it's on. It's been I'm still four looking. years since Legacy of the Void came out. Mm, five? Wasn't Legacy of the Void 2015? You're right. It was. All right, it's late. It World is. of sleepers. Speaking of it's being late. All right, so I'm finding some people asking about, are you happy about the removal of the tank of ac? Um, If you go to the Liquipedia page, it should have a history of patches or something for the unit. Ooh, ooh, yeah, good call. Siege tank, I see two. Let's get you into the lobby as well, though. Yep, good call. And then look it up, and we'll get into the game. Thanks so much to everyone who's sticking around. I know there's a certain other StarCraft II tournament running that also happens to be organized by Afrika. It's pretty much the StarCraft II tournament that's running. Indeed. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the games. It's been It's been fun to stick through it. I mean, this is a... Bit of a long cast, so I mean, it's like, uh, we're not just gonna be, you know, super analytical 100% of the time. It is fun to talk about these kind of things. Anyway. True fact. Spawning up in the top left-hand side of the map. He's got a 1-0, top right-hand side of the map. He's got a 1-0 lead. It's Psystorm Gaming's true. And spawning in the bottom left, it's time. Man, this just feels so much like the uh, like the true oh, true series we saw earlier here. Where it really true does. looked really good. So does uh, true win the first two maps just to like making a lot of yeah. things and then end up losing in All a right. reverse sweep? Maybe. Then it's interesting that the winner of this moves on to play Dream. I think a Dream Time TV T would be sick. So I'm gonna pull for time here. Although, uh, if True does end up uh, beating time, it would be cool to see a rematch as well. Yeah, I'd be down. What's the news on these tanky vacs? I only have two patches where they've been touched, or Siege Shanks have been touched at all. Which is weird. What? I can't find the patch where... They were able to be picked up. It's like patch changes two five five and three eight zero. Well, that was Legacy of the Void dropping. They were huh? in as soon as Legacy of the Void dropped. Oh, because I'm in the Legacy of the Void version of the Siege Tank. Gotcha. So if I go to Heart of the Swarm Siege Tank. Well, uh, if they were brought in in the beta. Oh, it might have been a beta patch or something. And that's why. Hmm. Well, that's dumb. It should tell us which official patch you could actually pick up tanks in siege mode. Then. Well, that was that was the very first Legacy of the Void version. So whatever they version. They came into the game with drop, really. Oh yeah, that was like a big selling feature. No, that's literally the reason why Blizzard added tanky backs. I guarantee it. They're like, how do we get people to buy the third iteration of StarCraft Two? Well, we're gonna introduce a bunch of new units, and also you can pick up tanks in siege mode. I guess. Yeah, exactly. It looked cool in the cinematic, right? Or in like the demo video, and then everyone's like, oh my god, this is terrible. Why can tanks fly? 
<laughs> the blizzard's like, doesn't matter, sold copies. Man, you must. I do not remember that being the case when like it. But oh yeah, it was in the like beta, right. I think. Yeah, it was definitely in the beta. I want to say. That's crazy. All right. Well, in that case, what we have here is they twiddled with how fast the siege tank can fire after being dropped. Yeah. Back in October 2015, and then removed it in patch 3.80 in november 2016 so yeah, you're right it was a year and a month when, that was the case when did legacy of the void drop in the first place that was like november 2015 so this october thing must have been in the beta they messed with the the delay on firing back then hmm. and then in 3.0 for legacy of the void just as it was, and then we just got rid of it after that. Yeah, tanky vacs were an interesting thing. Because hmm. the game still kind of felt fresh when they came out, so it, no one really complained about that specific thing because it was still really new, and you don't complain about something new. But when they were gone, it's like, oh, thank God they were gone. Yeah, there's a million posts here on Reddit of, like, hallelujah, we're saved. Yeah, like, uh, it, yeah, it definitely took me a while to be like, oh, thank God, because... The changes they did to the tank after that were really good. Like, it was a huge buff after the fact. Siege tanks used to deal, like, no damage before that. And they also yep. used to have less HP, too, I think. I don't know. Again, I'm looking at the balance patch updates. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. They increased the damage. Um, they did increase the health by 15 HP. At the same time, they got rid of the uh, tank of that concept. Yeah, and then so they made right. it deal like more to armored and splash and stuff. Because before they used to deal way, way less damage. Now they're just like roach killing machines and all sorts of other things. The current tank, pretty darn good, I'd say. Agreed. Yeah, very, very in a very good position. You don't see a lot of complaints about tanks being OP. Nope. Seeing as how they don't just, you know, fly into people's bases anymore and immediately start shooting everything. God, that annihilate, was dumb. Annihilate mineral lines instantly. Yeah. That was so, so silly. Listen, just being like... Alright, first five minutes of the game Legacy of the Void, you're gonna micro this one tanky back. Well, it was so hard for Zerg to deal with because he had to try to kill the medevac with queens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all you could hilarious. pretty much do. And then didn't they buff Queen range before nerfing the tanky back? Or before getting rid of the tanky back? Or was that in response remember to that one. Liberators? I can't remember that time. I mean, that was just in response to, I think, Liberators and Oracles? Maybe tanky backs too, were part of the reason for that. Yeah. Blizzard's like, we need the Queen. They need, they need to defend everything. There's a lot of stuff that comes from the air, and we don't give them hydras until after they have a lair. <laughs> Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> yeah, before then it was just spore crawlers just running around endlessly. Yeah. Thank god they have legs. <laughs> they they uh, decreased that burrow time too for that particular they did. reason. Was, was nice. that the reason? Yep. Oh, yeah, it was the Liberators that it's was Liberators, Because totally. Liberators could reposition faster. Oh, God, you're playing yeah. true time. Oh, boy. You can't leave your front door down. I mean, this is actually going to work out pretty good. Right? Like, this is a lot of deadlings for no dead enemies. One, one got picked off. I mean, it bought Ooh. true time for hacking and stuff, but that was a lot. And oh, my God. It like, was. <laughs> But true is the Ling King. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Oh no, it's I like just lost 16 true. Lings. Here are 48 of them. You wake up. You're pretty darn good at StarCraft 2. But you just wake up, you go on ladder, you start making Lings for 8 hours a day, and you don't stop. Sounds about right. Man. And he, and he does it too. I mean, I, I really love true as a player. Like, uh, there was a time in which I wasn't a giant true fan or anything like that, because he was kind of just like this monster that came on over from, uh... I cannot get rid of this. Where, why won't you go away, Papa? Which one? The pop. I had a... <laughs> I was faffing with the hotkeys there, but yeah. True kind of came over and was a monster. 
and then he just destroyed everyone in WCS. It's like, oh, another Korean's coming. He's probably gonna win WCS. And then the Korean came, and then he won WCS. He's like, oh, hmm. Well, that's generally how that's supposed to go. Infestation pit on the way from True. This is his build, man. This makes a million lings and mailings, gives a difficult hooks, plus one armor when he needs it. Infestation pit. And then and Muta's as necessary. Last time. He's on four bases, 77 yep. drones. He made a ton of lings and banes, then he just overwhelms the Terran. So, in response to this, I'm going to go ahead and say time needs to make a lot of widow mines. Yep. Like, that's got to be it. Yeah, like, you're playing true, make a ton of widow mines. Maybe some Thors, too? Man, tanky vax would have been good in this situation. <laughs> you can say that about pretty much every game of StarCraft that's ever been played. Boy, Terran really could have used tank vax in this game. Made TVT in more interesting, oh, I think, TVT so. was such a mess. It was crazy fun. You literally had to be paying attention with your own tanks and your medivacs ready because the you had to whole counter time. your opponent in case they got in with their tanky vacs faster. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous. It's so good. It's like, hey, you hey, you know, Do Blizzard was like, hey, you know how Doom Drops are a problem in TVT? The tanks, they don't even need the siege anymore. Yeah. Enjoy. Bye. Yeah, 26 links in production. True's just gonna max out on links and main links and go for it. Plus two melee attack is about to finish. I don't know if True's gonna wait for that or not, but... Uh, I mean, I think plus two attack's a good idea, but then time will have his, uh, plus two two. That's true. I mean, True's Trino's actually gonna be maxed out on links and banes here. Yep. He's got 143 Zerglings. He does, and he's 25. going into the third base. Yeah, oh my as we god. Speak. Time, oh god. <laughs> Okay, this is actually going okay. Not for these SCVs, but... No. I mean, it's the rest not of like he's right. getting overwhelmed. No. Oh, that hurts. SCVs coming back to work? All right, bye. Oh. Ooh, you can deny adrenal glands and get rid of the oh, spawning that pool. Is, I mean, true that's without like, a spawning pool. That's like the life hack if you're playing against true. Just snipe the pool and you win. Oh, well, now I got saved. Oh, there's a big engagement going down there. Looks like the tanks got cleared, but there's not enough bane links. So true's trying to make more, but time's actually just going for it. This could be disastrous for true. Uh, the Bailings are not going to finish. No, they are not. So is True just dead? Yeah, oh, okay. 175 to 120 supply. I mean, I he's, got a, he's got a lot of hatcheries. He can make a lot of links. He's making 34. Adrenal glands is going to finish. And ground curve is coming suddenly in. Suddenly his links are a lot better than they used to be. This is actually just a wild ride. The fact that True just makes their links. And the games that he wins, anyway. Yeah. And it seems like if you force him to make something else, bad stuff happens. Like battle cruisers, for example. <laughs> <laughs> or even the Thors. Right. Like those are the losses on the way. Is seen, that enough right? to repel this? Yes. Thirty banelings is so many banelings. It is a lot of banelings, and he's already got a ton. And he's on creep. So it's Time a ton of banelings like... with a ton of banelings. There's like no links to support matter. this though. It's a great split, though. Yeah. It's a really good split from time. are on the way, though. True just needs to hold on. Save uh, the hatch. Is he, is he gonna survive? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, never mind. He that just lost his baneling nest, too. What? Yeah, that's, that's not gone. Good. Okay, now he's dead. Swarm host, remember? Ah. You force him to make anything else, and he's in trouble. A swarm host. Uh, he's counterattacking because he's true. There's planetaries though, and he's got just bane links. Just no links, no bane links. Um, this counterattack is enough to pull his opponent back though. Bane link that's getting replanted. One swarm host. That's got to be an accident, right? Oh Who yeah, that's the accident swarm, swarm, swarm host that every zerg ever makes. Yeah. Okay. What hotkey is the swarm host on? Uh, I don't play standard config, oh, but... 
want to say something stupid a? like B. Ooh, yeah, A. I have seen it be A. That don't make them a lot. Okay, so Baneling has to take a long time to build, but that just finished. Oh, now Tree's making 26 Banes. But if he loses this hatch too, I think he's just dead. Mm, and that was going as well. True. Yeah. Uh -huh. The tank fire in. Don't get his dry. Oh, yeah, we're done. We're oh, done. Okay. Yeah, True's done. 200, 100 supply. True has a handful of banelings, and that's literally it. 20. Oh, those are some nice baneling connections. But Pretty good splits, though, man. Yeah, time it's mainly nice marauders now, so time wisened up. It's a counterattack that's pretty okay, but. I mean, True is dead. You gotta give it to True. Yeah? Like, uh, but, yeah, no, GG. <laughs> maybe it's time that True, maybe it is time uh, that True starts making uh, something other than Zerglings. I don't think he can. Have it's you caught much of his, years. like, other professional matches? Like, in, like, the big, Have big I... tournaments? Like, Yeah, this is what he does. So he does this when he's trying to qualify for GSL. Yeah, and then he doesn't qualify for GSL because everybody <laughs> knows what he's going to do. Uh, yeah, maybe he's a bit stuck in those ways, eh? He's been doing this for at least the last five years. Like, at least since like, the City of the Void yeah. popped us. First time I ever remember casting him, he was doing this stuff. He's better at it now, and his macro is better, and like he makes so better decisions. True is not but, in like, WCS circuit anymore, though, is he? I don't think so. Okay, he made Code S Season 2, but not this season. Interesting. Yeah, so he's uh, he's long since left America, I believe. And now we're tied 1-1 one to one after uh, that fiasco. Spawning down the bottom right-hand side of the map. It's Sidestorm Gaming's true. And spawning in the top left. It's time. It's time? Is, is he proxying? Our guy. Feels like it. Sure does. That's two SCVs out. That's a proxy. That's nothing else that can be. I don't know. I just always, for the longest time, figured this is why True never really makes it to, like, quarterfinals or... I mean, he won his tournament. Semifinals. Huh? He won his tournament back in like 2015, 2016. Yes. Is that all yes. he needed from StarCraft 2 Pro Gaming? He's like, meh. It's like, we're good. I'm just going to keep making links because I enjoy it. Yeah, they're fun. They're fast. They're zippy. I mean, they, they are fun. Hard. Yeah, they're tons of fun. But then when you have like 50 Zerglings and you surround 20 Marines and you lose, you're like, huh, I wonder why. Um, This is really good for True, by the way. He just scouted this proxy. Yeah, oh, good cool. overlord spread there. Got lucky Lots with it. Lots of drones are being pulled. I've seen Innovation do something similar where it feels like way too many drones. Or not Innovation, Serral versus Innovation. Well, yeah, yeah. That was like the one game Serral lost to a proxy. He yeah. pulled too many drones. Okay, does time throw up a depot or something to wall in the Marines? You may be able to do that at the back of the mineral patch. Wall a Marine in? That would be so sick. That would be really hard for drones to deal with. All right. Oh, wait. Can he just get it in that little pocket there? Okay, not quite, but that is a nice spot for that Marine. Ooh, but stacking the drones. He's uh, trying to do it. Yeah, you can't. Pathing's just too good. Another Marine is out. True is Yeah, losing. it's just time to go home. Losing drones. And that really didn't shut down the proxy. Not at all. Queen on the way. Hmm. Six lings on the way, which is actually pretty great. And uh, the matter of the fact is that time sent his SCVs back, so no one's building a bunker. Hmm. Not like, like he could have bunkered committal. here. He had four, three, four marines. Oh, wait, he's making a reaper. Just one, though. Okay. One reaper for that scout. Uh, True's going across the map with his zerglings. Time's ready to intercept, but he is sending his marines back, so he's not just going to die to that counterattack. Okay. Oh, that's a nice find, an overlord. 
And it's a supply block on true. Mm, very, very good. Mm, this Reaper is out. True is years away from Zergling speed. No gas as just in, yet. Yeah. <laughs> as in no gas. <sighs> Alright, man. Slowlings and Queens. Let's do this. Let's do it. I think it's time for a slowling queen push across the map. Let's do it. Such a big map. This is possibly the worst idea of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Slowling. You're bright. But... I'm just so crazy, it just might work. Exactly. Have you watched any Letter Kenny? No, I haven't. I love Letter Kenny. What is uh, Letter Kenny? It is a show originally on whatever the heck Crave is. Oh, Crave? But, uh, oh, that's it's... like the. That's like Bell. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's I'm what... not Canadian. No, it's horrible. I watched. Uh, tried to watch the final episodes of Game of Thrones through it. Because that's the only way you can legally watch it online, like live in Canada. Oh, okay. So I'm like, all right, fine. I really want to watch it live. I'll go through the official channels. It, it was, was locked bad, to huh? like 720p. Ugh. Like, very low bitrate. Quality just horrendous. And you know how dark mm. that episode of Game of Thrones was. Yeah. The whole season. Soft and very dark. Yes, for sure. And I was just, this is horrible. Like, I literally just, I was like, okay, I'm three weeks in. I'm on my free subscription. I'm canceling it. I'll just, you know use other means to watch the remaining three episodes because it's all going downhill anyway real quick smart not a bad idea anyway hellion drop here inside the main dude slowlings and queens oh, what is going on there's no speed why is he going gasless well you know generally you're in a pretty good spot after Shutting down a proxy two wreck completely hard, but uh, that hurts. Why would? All right, speed's on the way. It's like, yeah, I do need speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, maybe it is it is it is late here, but that just cracks me up. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Letterkenny is a show set in the town of Letterkenny in Alberta. It's in Alberta. These, uh, yeah, Farmer Hicks. Or okay. Ontario, maybe. I should know that. Because, I mean, we've got Corner Gas that covers Saskatchewan. Hmm. Or is Corner Gas in Alberta, too? Oh, God. Actually, hold on. Letter Kenny. I think it's Ontario. I'm trying to remember. They don't really talk about that very much. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's Ontario. A small community based loosely on the show's creator's hometown of Listowel, Ontario. Huh. Anyway, it's fantastic. It is so funny. It's like the, some of the most clever writing I've ever seen. You should try it out. All right. I will do. When I have time to watch more TV. As a Canadian, you should watch it. All That's right. all I'm saying. I will do my civil duty. All right. Um, do you think True can stop this attack? If his speed wasn't done, no. But speed is done, so that's nice. But his Baneling Nest is not. It is not. Uh, he has six queens, and 22 he, lanes. He and he doesn't have carapace either. No, he doesn't. I think he's Time's dead. gonna have combat shield as well. Like crazy 360 surround, maybe. He's just counterattacking. He doesn't have the numbers. Oh, of course he's countering. He's true. <laughs> he's trying to pick up reinforcements and stuff. Queen's actually doing pretty well uh, here against. Yeah, the I mean. Tank's not quite in that. Still, like, uh, I feel like time expects true to have more than he actually does. He's showing him a lot of respect. When in reality, there's 27 marines versus 48 lings. It's not a good ratio for those lings. It is not. Seeing as how lings hatch in pairs, it is definitely not. But True has had time bot. He's got that bane that's done. No bane lings just yet. These queens have a ton of energy. Can these marines just focus them down before transfuse kicks in? Uh, it's gonna be close. I mean... Where's your transfuse? Queens are staying alive. There's a bunch of them here. More lings are responding to this. Okay, yeah. And that's a pickup. That is way too many lings. Time missed this window. Yeah. And if those lings have plus one carapace, it'd be so much better. But he's just late with everything. Well, he's got another tank coming on him, though. Okay. 
One one gonna be finishing up for True, so I'll have an upgrade lead pretty quick. For now, the time does have the plus one, whereas True does not. Tanks and Marines versus Queens. Where's all the lings? They're just hanging out in the middle of the map, ready to intercept a drop, but that is not helping these Queens right now. The tank fire and Queen does survive thanks to the transfuse. Does it get sniped off by the uh, lings there? They're starting to go down though. This Queen number used to be a lot higher. So oh, another one. Time getting some damage done. A drop going down towards the main base, a tank on the low ground, probably going to elevate those marines. Still though, true staying alive. You gotta give it to him. Alright, in comes the marines once again though. Going to be engaging on these queens, are now gone, so that is a... Uh... That defense that has now been cleared out is pretty much just up to the links to surround this. A lot of medivacs to heal these marines though. Try and get on top of these tanks, but they're just in such a good position. I mean, if True made a few Bane links, he probably could just crash and clean out those tanks. Instead, he's just focusing on the counterattack. That depot does get raised. That one Marine, he just had a very big heart palpitation there. <laughs> Saw his life flash before he's his like, eyes. Oh. Please hope, I hope dear to God, he puts me on the right side of that depot. <laughs> Wings cruising on in. Sutter step is really good. Man, the tanks are in trouble. I just had a very sad thought. Uh oh. Imagine if the StarCraft FPS game was going to be VR and they canned it. That's so early for them to be even trying VR, though. I mean, VR has got some pretty good games out there. It does. But imagine, like, seeing Zerglings and stuff in, like, VR. That would be awesome. Like a 50 Zergling Swarm just charges towards you. Yeah. I don't know. I'm down. If I'd want, play it. If you want your StarCraft first-person shooter fix, you'll just have to stick to... Or third-person shooter, you'll just have to stick to those crazy good arcade games. Yeah. Like mod the heck out of the engine. Have you played any of those? I've seen some screenshots. I've never actually played They're them. Actually They're actually just good. ridiculous. Hmm. Like, there's one guy who makes, like, insane games, like campaigns and stuff. There's one that was called, uh, I can't remember the project name. It was a pretty big project. It was like StarCraft, uh, oh, those Marines. It was like StarCraft Unity or something like that. I Don't quote me on the name. But it was basically like a massive third person, like full on campaign situation that raised like a lot of money on Kickstarter. Dang. StarCraft I Universe, I want to say it was. I don't want to check it out. It's it's really good. It's kind of sad though because like it was designed to be like a giant MMO, but the StarCraft arcade engine, like the way that it works, is people drop, they can't reconnect, and that uh, a lot of workers are dying. Oh man, so this many. is like a big old surround here. True's just rolling the Bane train around. Um, time's taking a lot of damage. So is True, but that is so many Banelings. Holy cow, True! He is just breaking through that he wall. He honestly doesn't care. On top of tanks. He just says, I'm true. Oh. I do what oh, I want. That's... Why do they go back? You know, all in his main base. I mean, he is cleaning this up, but true is falling down a lot of supply. Yeah, time's got almost. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. Liberator right harassment at the third. 28 drones have gone down. That's just too much to be handled. Liberator, Liberator good unit. Mm. Yeah, no. StarCraft Universe, though. Good game. Check it out. Just for, like, the concept alone that someone took the StarCraft Arcade and allowed you to go, like, third person on the ground. It's it's insane. Need the name. I think it is StarCraft Universe. Okay, I'll try it's it out. It's designed to be, like, a big campaign. I played, like, a little bit of it, and it's actually quite... It's, it's very well put together. But it's just the fact that like you've got to load into like the arcade. If it was like an actual MMO, it would be it would be beloved by everyone. GG gets called. Time takes it. Yeah, not looking good for True. No, two to one. I mean, you just can't keep making links. No. Also, I don't like what set him behind so early. Was it just pulling those drones mm -hmm. and trying to shut down the proxy and just failing? Yeah, and then uh... delaying his gas for five minutes wasn't. Yeah, good no, it was the Hellions that knocked him really far back. Yeah, but if the reason the Hellions did all that work is because there were no speedlings. Yeah, that's absolutely it. 
StarCraft oh. Universe, though. Cool multiplayer thing. I think it's StarCraft Universe. And guys, I know we're kind of just, like, rambling here. For starters, it's a very long cast. <laughs> it's very late. <laughs> for, but, uh, no, these games are really good, but then Drew's kind of just doing his own thing, and we're just silently taking it in, in a sense. Just true does what true does. He's, uh, we're not going to see any ultras. We're not going to see any broodlord. No. It's just he's going to run around. We're going to wait for the base trade or whatever. If uh, an attack comes in he can't handle, yeah. he just backstabs. Like, I'd really like to see what level true plays out if he plays the meta. I just don't think he does. That's all I'm saying. He just... <laughs> Why not, though? I don't know, man. Ah, I found it. StarCraft Universe on uh, Indiegogo. Look, yeah, how much money did they raise? They didn't reach their goal. 12000 of the 18000 they wanted. What? I think that was the second round, though, wasn't it? They did multiple rounds or something? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> sure, why not? I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. So uh, is it really just in the arcade? Yeah, it's literally just in the arcade. It's so cool what's been done just tech technology-wise. Like, the StarCraft arcade is so powerful. It is. Like, uh, have you played, uh, there's, there's like a horror game or something that I saw some streamers playing on Twitch? No, like, I didn't uh, see that either. StarCraft Horror Arcade. That's like a first or third person or, yeah, no, it's like a first person. And it's really cool. Just like how people are able to make first person games in the StarCraft 2 arcade engine. That is pretty impressive. Anyway, spawning up in the top left hand side of the map, it's Psystorm's True. And in the bottom right, he's red, and he's time. And he's doing it again. Oh, time, you are a mad lad. He just goes right in your face, proxy versus true. Kind of walls this little section off here. True is looking for it. Is he gonna, he spots it. That overlord is close. Well, yeah, he saw it. All right, well, here we go. Are the drones coming? There's two drones coming, but these barracks are finishing. Ah, this was so... Like, True almost sent his overlords past, but, I mean, it's a really good positioning for time. The drones uh, aren't really going to be able to shut this down super easily. Uh, SCVs just run around. Marines start. I think the SCVs should probably just repair each other, right? Like, you gotta try and get a bunker up, I feel, with this rush, or maybe just <laughs> plop a bunker on the low ground of your time. Contain them two bases or something. Anyway, there's the bunker. There we go. Up. High ground. They get drones coming in to shut it down, and they do. For the time being, until the Marine shows up. Really? Anyway. Like, it's kind of concerning how time just brings the one. But no, he's actually gone into double gas and is going for Reapers behind this. What? Oh man, you are insane. I mean, True does have speed on the way this game, which is a very, very big difference, and he's got to run his marines, though. The bunker, I mean, it, that SCV wasn't being targeted. He maybe could have finished that. The marines do go down, but here comes out two reapers. Surprise, lings. Two reapers is... Uh, oh, bad. gosh. Yeah, two reapers is so hard to deal with. I think fairness, he sent queens some are okay. across the map, though. Yes, he did. There's going to be nothing there for time to deal with this unless he sends those Reapers back. So that'll be a pretty big pain for him. Oh, and if these Reapers get surrounded, that's really bad for time. No, this is actually a very tough spot for time. This rush just got scouted and shut down. Like, there's it a did, but man, hmm. we've, seen, we've seen Terrans fail on their proxies and win anyway. That is a part of being Terran, just failing and winning. Yep. Winning anyway. Persistent buggers. <laughs> I think that'd be a Zerg character. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Huh? Uh-oh, time. That's not a wall? Did you Holy skip crap. Terran 101? That's not a wall. And I don't even know if this depot is going to fix the wall, because CCs are funny like that. Aw, uh, time fell for the classic Terran blunder. In which command centers don't actually wall properly. For those of you unaware, command centers kind of have like rounded corners. So if you yeah. try and use the edge of a command center as a critical part of a wall, you will get uh, units slipping through. It's kind of like when you have like a triangle wall, in which two points of a triangle connect and then 
units can slip through on this. I mean, uh, True wasn't going for a big all-in or anything off that, though, so... But he does get a scout. I mean, he sees the third CC, so he knows where his opponent's at. He basically has a free ticket to drone for the time being. And time is still contained on one base while True is just droning, droning, droning. This is really concerning for the Terran. Hey, Lion Machine's back. <laughs> hey! Making predictions. <laughs> he just checks out, comes back, like, yep, it's true. Gonna be links. All right, see you later. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Welcome back. Where were, where were you when we needed you to predict for parting? Yeah, Lion, we demand to know where you went. Is it going to be a heavy winter this year? Guy in the place where it never snows asks. It snows like once a year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For like a week. We actually had a pretty good winter last year. Good as in... In like a, a good heavy winter. Oh. Yeah, like it, there was like snow for like quite a while. Is that the Canadian definition of good winter? Is like I, I guess it is, I mean... It snows over half the days of winter. Lion Machine went to party, went to celebrate for Parting's win. Oh, this is cool. Did we you got... celebrate before Parting won? Because you weren't here for Parting's No, game. you weren't. It was looking dicey for the guy. It was. We needed your help. All oh, these Hellbats are like, hey, Zerglings, huh? Yep. Uh, lots of hey, drones queens, are dying. Huh? Oh, man, the Hellions. True, please. Uh, his weakness is just Hellions, it would seem. He got overconfident yeah. and droned too much from the scene of things. It's Hellions and Hellbats. You can't handle Hellions and Hellbats with... There's Can't. no queen. Okay, queens are repositioning to the natural. You need roaches, you need banelings. Oh man, are these queens gonna go down to this? Uh, uh yeah. That one's dead. And that one. one's dead too. Ooh, close. Eight drones in total. True is planning a counterattack, so time's gotta be very cautious of that. He's making hellions. He's got four though, which kinda is the magic number to deal with a large chunk of lings, so he will just have to pull away from this base, but he's not in any super danger. Although, as I say, that True coming in with a lot more zerglings. Time, you finish that wall right now. You are playing versus true. If these hellions... Oh, man. Oh, that nice choke. Block. Beautiful. Oh, what a block. Oh, never mind. It's not no, a block. No, no. Oh, the surround is real. Yeah, time could have... Okay, he keeps a fair few of them alive, though. SCVs, MVPs. Yeah, never that mind. body blocking was very important, but that was way more dicey than time needed it to be. Okay, it looks like True is going for a Mutalisk to make that... Okay, he's already got eight out. The problem hey, is there's already out. two Thors out on the way and two Medivacs to back him up. Uh, looks like there will be some damage before these are out, though, which is very important for True because the worker count is uh, uncomfortably even for a TBZ at this stage. The Ling's going to try and pair up with the Mutas to try and crash through here. That could be a very good move for True. He finally completes the wall, locking his SCVs out of his natural. Does the natural base have any anti-air? Uh, no, there's nothing. There's literally Dude, two Thors just... about to pop out. That's, that's Get it. in there! Why are they messing with these supply depots? I guess they want to get the wings in, but man. Oh, uh, yeah. Man, 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 indeed. Thor's now going to be able right. to deal with the mutas. The medivacs can ferry them after. So those Thors should be uh, boosting after those mutas right now. The third base has been forced to lift. You need to save die. that of your time. I mean, uh... It's flying the wrong way! Fly uh... back to the support of the Thors! Ah, the Thors, you have a medivac, why aren't you boosting after G? G. Okay, time. <laughs> series you know gets tied was. up, two to two. We are having a lot of close series today. We are, a lot of, uh, a lot Wait, of Wait, has every series here. been a three two? No, not every series today. Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, time got three zero. But, like, the last, like, three have been. Yeah, yeah. the past three in a row have been three twos. So we'll get into the final map. Just so that was in 100% just totally true did something other than Lings and Banes and Time was like, wait, what? Yeah, I mean, he had that's what that was on the way, but 
but no not, not I mean, the Mutos are already out. Like, yeah. he didn't scout that thing in time. He scouted it. Hmm. I mean, sometimes that happens. A Terran gets, like, so tunnel visioned into going mech that it works. Yep. All right. Looks like everyone's yeah. going to be ready, so we'll uh, hop on into the next game. This is the ace match between these two players. It certainly is. Game five on Ephemeron. Let's see it through. And then uh, keep in mind, guys, uh, Dream is waiting patiently to play his next match between these two. The winner So of these patiently. Two. I kind of hope time chair. does it just so we get a TVT. We've had a lot of TVZ PVT today. That's true. Let's have, let's have a different matchup. Anyway, it's what we want. It's a 2-2 two to -two series spawning down in the bottom right-hand side of the map. It's time. By the way, he's going for a proxy. <laughs> and spawning top left. It's true. All right. I'm just thinking about Canadian winter and feeling like you just get snowed in for like two weeks. It doesn't seem like a good time. I mean, in my part of Canada, not usually. Although it was like a good solid week snow in this time around. Dang. Yeah, it was like a solid week and then like a, a lot of it was a lot of snow. It was good. It was good though. Copenhagen-das. I apologize for Cop the Copenhagen-das. Copenhagen-das. Is he waiting with patience or is he alone? Do I think you mean, that's like, wordplay. Dream waiting with patience? Do they live together? I know uh, Dream lives with dynamite. Or is it just wordplay? Could be. Hmm. 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 Copenhagen does does like those puns. It's funny because some pro some pro players do actually live together. So for all we know, they do. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's see. The third proxy barracks in a row gets scouted. However, the third barracks does not. All right, so uh, Time's really committing to this one. Maybe he's just going to fake like this being dealt with or something. And then he's suddenly going to come on in with an extra barracks for more production. So a lot of Marines are going to be getting made here. I mean, True's taking this seriously. He's pulling drones to get on top of this. One of the Marines gets surrounded. Nicely done there by True. This bunker needs to get up. I mean, Time's really uh, not focused on his bunkers during these rushes. This one looks like it will complete here, though. These Marines have got a pretty good position. Another bunker getting queued on up here. These Marines, That's they need to get inside wings, that bunker. Though. I think they should have just hung happen. around there. Instead, they're being pushed back. Time, though, got a lot of Marines here. He's going to retreat to the best of his ability, and True's links are starting to wear thin. That bunker going to be getting Ooh, on up. Oh, that kiting was delicious. That was beautiful kiting, as a matter of fact. Is it in range of the hatch? It is it's not. not. Wow. That's big. That's big for True. He can afford to be patient here. A little bit. Yes, he can. Okay, Marines working away in this hatchery. More bunkers going up just in case True does go for the break here. True's making his best unit, Lings. Okay. Uh, it's looking pretty good for time. On textbook, when this happens, when the Zerg fails to stop the initial bunkers, it's usually pretty bad for the Zerg. It is just going to be like a full-on uh, attempt to stop this. Two Marines go down. Make that three Marines for these Queens. And but... it looks like True is trying to get us around on here. Marines piling into the bunkers quickly. You are playing uh, sort of hippity-hoppity there as the Marines are going between all the bunkers. True's committing mm. a lot of things onto these, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. It's going to be close. He's wrapping around Marines outside the bunkers. He almost broke it, but uh, those bunkers are still standing strong. These Marines still have a location to hop in and out of, and the Queen just has no HP. So time working away on this. His reinforcements, however, have been compromised. Okay, those Marines, they got to be paying attention. Time, he's losing a few before and they hop in the bunkers. losing bunker. a couple of them there. Yeah, That's a big losing deal. most of them, as a matter of fact. Dang. Is True going to do this? This is like a full-on commitment, and suddenly 
Yeah, there's nothing going for time. He's starting a factory behind this, but oh my this gosh, has been front door such a down. huge commitment. Lion says, spines are usually great here. How come we're just making lings? And the answer... Because it's you true. know the answer. We don't have to ask. We don't have to answer that one, really. Yes. Ah, uh, True is going for a counterattack. There are Marines There's behind the wall. wall. Yep. So time does survive in that sense. True's droning up, but I mean, he saved his natural. That's what you gotta do as the Zerg. Beautifully done by True. God, it's 20 to 2 army supply, and time is fine because he has a wall. <laughs> like that's... I mean, Woo! talk about Terran efficiency. That's True's taking his anger out on these rocks. Third base on the way, seven drones, eight drones. He's a happy Zerg regardless. And going for a pretty quick lair this time around. Yeah, five and a half minute lair, pretty good standard-ish timing. Third base is way late, but understandable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Drew's got a pretty good excuse for not having his homework done today. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's still in a great spot though, right? Yeah, he seems fine. I mean... I don't know that he's like way ahead or anything. Think he's ahead? Oh yeah. I don't know, man. Mules yeah. exist. And he's actually making a lair early this time. So as long as he doesn't die to Hellions once again, I think it's a good spot for True. Or yeah. He sees the Hellions there, so he knows. He's making a baneling nest in case of Hellbats. I don't mind this spot at all for the Zerg player. Here comes the Hellion drop. Done pretty well for time so far the series. All right, let's see what it gets done. Two drones immediately for nothing. Okay, True should be reacting to this going to the main. It's clearly the next natural step. He's got Lings and a Queen moving into position. Looks like he's going to be doing okay versus this defense. Suddenly Transformers, though, and this is exactly what happened in the last game. The Hellbats caused a lot of damage in the main, and then the follow-up ran into the natural. Is True anticipating this? The answer is kind of. Lings are going back and forth. How much damage is going to get done? Drones in the main now left undefended since the True's dealing with the Hellbats at the third, but oh my gosh. Oh, that's positioning. That was so sick there, the Hellbats transforming. They will get cleaned on up, but the ones in the main still doing all right for themselves. Oh, but the medevac gets As I say off. that, though, they do all go down. So seven drones killed for what? Eight Hellions and a medevac? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Question Not enough. Yeah, he did trade enough. with a lot of Lings. But we take a look at this, and now True's planning a counterattack. It's just gas, gas, gas because he's True. He, yeah, there's not even a natural wall for time. I think True's uh, going for a kill move. 12 Banelings on the way here. A lot of Lings crossing the map. True's going to see those Banelings, oh. and he's going to go rut row. They've got speed too. Lings charging on in. Oh my god, the Hellions taking connections there. Hellions, another one does go down. Some coming up and getting some. By the, oh, that the middle. Banelings connecting Bane. into the natural, and it looks like True might be getting that rematch versus Dream. The wall at the top of the ramp is still holding time. He's trying to repair to the best of his ability, but another round of Banelings is going to have something to say about that. There's he lots is going of into the third phase as well. Oh, is there enough Banelings to get through this yes, wall? There isn't. There is. Uh, not quite, so wow, time holds on. Third base is under attack here as well. Time lost, I think, everything over there. You know, yeah, 31 not a lot. Down. But he does have Hellbats versus True. Now he has enough. All right, there we go. Tough here. Time's just and the supply block. That is a beautiful funnel there, but 
There's so much Zerg coming across here. I mean, the Hellions deal with the Lings, but the Hellbats uncontested. All the SCVs are going down, and that's GG. True survives.